What is going on, guys? Look at this fucking huge green candle in after hours here for Clover Health. <laughs> Good God. Uh, earnings are out. Uh, we're going to go through those in just a second. Look at this fucking gigantic green dildo. Uh, looks like it, it is getting rejected a little bit right now. But shit is getting wild after hours. This is uh, a lot of fun to see. Had a nice... Uh, 3% drop today, trading under that 50 EMA line, and then closed right above it. And then, brrr, rocket ship. And we'll see how far this dips back down. This uh, could be some profit takers right now uh, from that gigantic skyscraper up there. All right. So here we go. We got the uh, earnings drop from the Clover Health website. Hot off the presses. Uh, let's see here. Clover Health took another step in its journey to improve every life with the launch of direct contracting this year. This milestone more than doubled our revenue and nearly, nearly doubled lives under Clover Assistant Management, said Clover Health CEO Vivek Garapali. We have ambitious goals to maintain an aggressive uh, growth tra trajectory while pursuing our mission to improve every life by making great health care available and affordable to all Amer American seniors. Uh, regardless of health, wealth, or economic status, we're proud of what we've already achieved and look forward to continued progress in the second half of the year. All right, management commentary on financial highlights. Second quarter revenue grew 140% year-over-year, primarily due to the launch of, the, of direct contracting. Clover is on a $1.6 billion annual revenue run rate based on the second quarter results, said Joe Wagner, Clover Health CFO. Uh, we believe our normalized MAMCR, which adjusts for COVID-related impacts, demonstrates stability in this measure year over year, uh, and we continue to see positive results from returning members and those who see Clover Assistant providers on a gap basis similar to Medicare Advantage plans. We saw an elevated MA MCR from increased utilization, uh, much of which we believe was deferred in prior periods due to COVID in our New Jersey and New York markets. In contrast, in the second quarter 2020, uh, Clover reported a gap MCR of 70.1% due to a significant decrease in utilization. Uh, Neither our results in this quarter nor the second quarter of 2020 represent the underlying fundamentals of our business. Over time, we expect those extraordinary costs to trend down consistent with our normalized non-GAAP calculations. All right, here we go. All right, so Q2 from last year was $172 million in revenue. This year, $412 million in Q2. GAAP Medicare Advantage... Uh, Medicare medical care ratio 110 percent so that is a little high uh, normalized Medicare Advantage MCR so not gap uh, 97 percent so that's down half percent expenses are up uh, more than double, but also so is revenue. Uh, net loss was, whew, they lost $317 million, oh boy. And, but that is the price of growth. Uh, these MCR ratios should come down as uh, COVID calms down in the coming months and years. And I would have to agree with them in that this does not represent the underlying fundamentals of their business. All right, let's get to some highlights here. All right, total revenue was $412 million in the second quarter 2021, a 139% increase compared to the $172 million in the second quarter 2020. Uh, this consisted of $195 million in Medicare Advantage premiums and $216 million in direct contracting revenue. That is huge. Uh, total lives under... Clover Care Management um, was approximately 129,000, an increase of 126% compared to June 30th, 2020. Uh, Medicare Advantage memberships and direct contracting lives were 66,500 and 62,025, respectively, as of June uh, 30th, 2021. So they more than doubled their lives under care. Our GAP Medicare Advantage for MCR for the quarters was 111% compared to 70.1% for Q2 2020. Normalized Medicare Advantage uh, medical care ratio non-GAAP, which 
excludes the estimated net effect of COVID-19 and any changes to our estimate prior period revenue medical costs was 97% for the quarter as compared to 97.5 for Q2. Uh, the year-over-year -year increase in GAP Medi Medicare Advantage MCR was primarily driven by increases in direct expenses for caring for members impacted by COVID-19 and in increased uh, utilization from outpatient deferred care. Like I said earlier, all right, Clover Assistant highlights. Clover Assistant management grew 229% year-over-year to approximately 95000 Clover Assistant is on track to manage over $1 billion in annualized revenue. Scrolling down a bit. All right, so this is their uh, non-normalized uh, medical care ratio for Medicare Advantage. Oh, boy, more big green dildos. Good God. What a day tomorrow is going to be, huh? Okay, so here we see in this big purple crown, 111%. And then 4.94% off for direct COVID-related costs, 1.95% for prior period development, 3.83% for unrealized 2020 risk adjustment, uh, another 3.28% off for excess utilization due to COVID-19, and boom, 97% is your normalized Medicare Advantage MCR. And this was for 2021, same deal here, except for they had an increase in... Uh, percentage of the reduced utilization due to COVID. Uh, there was an increase in utilization. This is a big one. Financial outlook for the full year of 2021. Clover Health is providing the following guidance and commentary. Total revenues are expected to be in the range of $1.4 billion to $1.5 million. This reflects Medicare Advantage revenue of $760 million to $790 million and Medicare direct contracting revenues of $650 to $700 million. Medicare Advantage memberships is expected to be in the range of 68 to 70,000 by December 31st, 2021, a growth rate of 17 to 21% as compared to year-end 2020. Boom! This is their balance sheet here. 630 million in cash and cash equivalents and investments compared to uh, 151 from year-end 2020. Total assets is 1.2 billion assets up of fucking almost a billion dollars from last year. End of last year. Whew. Warrants payable up 100,000. Total liabilities is up 500K or 500 million. Total stockholders equity is 314 million. Very nice. Showing the loss of 317 million as opposed to a small profit from this time last year. This is net loss. So we see here normalized adjusted EBITDA is negative 58 million as opposed to uh, thir negative 33 million from last year. One uh, closing remark from Antonio Costa. Clove revenue up 140% year over year. Hello shorts, you are on the wrong side of the trade. Uh, so that is pretty much gonna do it for this one guys. Keep holding. Uh, tomorrow's going to be fucking wild. As always, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more updates on Clover Health as well as other stocks and tokens we like. I thank you guys so much for watching this far, and I'll see you in the next video.